in between now and the last episode, <coughs> excuse me, actually, I've been pretty busy. I recorded two Let's Builds, and I built these animal pastures with chickens, sheep, cows, and pigs. And I also built this, there's a zombie somewhere, but I also built this really cool farm, and it has lots of crops, and yeah. But one thing that is really starting to worry me is meteorites. And that is because one struck our tree, and I like this tree. I've used it in the past to get lots of wood and stuff like that. So, yeah. But one meteorite struck here, and then another one struck up there where the water is running, and then another meteorite struck on top of the hill over here. As you can see, that was another meteorite strike. And then another meteorite, which is different than the other two, made this nether portal thing. And it actually gave us some glowstone and stuff like that inside. I found it when I was recording the flyovers for the Let's Builds. But I wanted to come get this uh, glowstone on camera because I already harvested a lot of obsidian off camera. So let us just go ahead and grab up some dirt. And we will build a little bridge over to the meteorite slash nether portal thing. But yeah. So I am very worried that we may have to... Not desert, but we're going to have to somehow protect our base. And I've been doing some reading, and I've actually found a little block in the Falling Meteorites mod. Oh, sorry, Traveling Merchant. Called a Meteor Shield. And that Meteor Shield will allow us to... Protect our compound from falling meteors, and we'll be able to test to see if land is protected with a protected land tester. So... Yes, we were doing Batania last episode, but I feel that this is more important. So this episode, after I finish harvesting up these nether resources, we are- Ow. We will be working on meteorite protection measures. But yeah, because just- I, I really- it would be awful if just all of a sudden we lose the animal pastures or the farm or part of the house to a falling meteorite that we could have prevented. So that is what we will be doing this episode. But yeah. Yeah, I just think it's weird though that they don't have like measures in place for it to spawn a little far away or at least strike far away from players and what they're doing. But yeah, that nether portal is very annoying. And eventually we will use this nether portal to go into the nether. Just today, I, I really don't want to, I guess you could say. I just want to build the meteorite protection systems and continue with Batonia. Okay, we okay. Let's eat some bread. Nom 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 nom. So, yeah. Okay, but it's just there are just a lot of meteorites striking, and then there's the lava pull back there. And yeah, and actually, we can go look at our to-do list because another thing I did. Well, I should not. Yeah, a rare quicksand brain slime. It's probably this thing. Let's go ahead and kill it. Yay, blaze powder. I like how the uh, insane mobs drop blaze powder. That's really cool. All right, let's kill this brain slime. Yeah. But in the let's builds, I mean, you can watch the let's builds to see this, but it'll give you a quick tour. We built these nice little flower pedestals for our Britannia flowers. We built these animal pastures. And we also, I planted some blueberry or blackberry bush, raspberry bushes. And I also built this farm, and I built some gravel paths connecting everything up. And I think it looks pretty nice, like, I think I did a pretty good job. And we also have a nice little apple orchard, too. Okay. And also, in between now and the last episode, we are now on a server. So, no more, or hopefully no more, of annoying lag spikes. But yes, this is the New Horizons Inc. to-do list. First, make flower protection system. We can knock that off, because we put our flower, or, no, that was the wrong flower protection system, I want mob slash flower or dash flower pro... Come on, we can spell protection. And that will be done with bell of thorns. And now dinosaurs, we'll do that later. We need to name out... We need to... Oh, rain. But we need to name that lake out there because I wanted to do that. We're going to make a cellar and brew some beer. That'll be fun. Make Yeah, make alcohol. Meteorite protection. Urgent. Yes, that is very urgent. We're going to go to the Erebus. We are also going to be building time torches and using those. And for no particular reason, just I have always wanted to use them. And we will be building a chest... Oh, I spelled barrel wrong. We'll be building a chest and barrel system. Okay. 
but let's go ahead and work on meteorite protection. So also um, in the Let's Build series, there was a meteorite strike outside our house, which is another measure that's encouraged me or another event that has encouraged me to take action. But as you can see, if we dig down here, you can see, yeah, there's a meteorite strike right here. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty worried we may lose part of our house to... Uh, if we do get struck by a meteorite, we'll name it like the New Horizons Comet, but yeah, I don't want to have that happen. So I don't want to lose part of the house. Okay, so let's get busy. So first off, what we need is a meteor shield. And I got lots of meteor chunks or chips from when I was harvesting meteor from the one that fall outside, fell outside our backyard. But meteor shield. But yeah, so I got some of those. Meteor shield following meteors. We need cobblestone, meteorite ingots, and redstone. How do we make meteorite ingots? We smelt meteor chips. Let's take these meteor chips and these red meteor gems, because we're going to need those later. And let smelt eight, I guess. Eight will be a good number. Yeah, eight seems pretty good. And now, while we are building our meteorite shield, we're also going to want to build some of these protected land things. Oh, it's only a one-time one time use? That's a shame. Can we not? Oh, okay, whatever. So we'll build... How many of those? Probably three, maybe four. I also had to build another building blocks chest. But, so we'll build, no, we'll build eight protected land testers. Oh, no, we'll build four. Four is fine. So four. Okay. So we have our protected land testers, and we can also, we need some redstone. And let's grab some cobblestone, too. I basically made this the stone chest, and... Well, wasted one of those, but I made this the wood chest and this the stone chest, so we can more easily sort, because I do want to build a sorting system eventually, just not right now. Okay, redstone, cobblestone, meteorite ingots, follow or meteor shield, and let's go ahead and put this on our roof. It looks pretty cool. Okay, uh, up, and up again. We're going to have to knock a hole in the wall, but I think it's okay, because this is an extreme, extreme case thing, scenario, scenario, however you pronounce it. And let's see, will this work? No. Go away, Meteor Shield. And let's break this slab, and let's put it down like that. And now it needs a little bit of time to charge. It said it takes, it doesn't say how much time it takes. It just said it needs time to charge. So, yeah. Charging, oh, there we go, charging 16, 17. And it said we can put a meteorite chip in to charge it, but I really don't think that's worth it. But I am going to put some of these me red meteor gems, which I got from killing the creepers over there. Like, some alien creepers spawned, and I killed them, and I got these things. And if we put the red meteor gems in, it increases the um, range of the shield. Which is good for us. So we will just wait for this thing to slowly finish charging up. And then we will put in our red meteor gems. Okay. Come on. 65. Ugh, it's taking forever. But yeah. Oh, actually, do I... Oh, I don't have my lexicon, so I can't start looking at what we need to do next for Matanya. Because we are going to start working on building bellthorns, or bellothorns, or whatever they are called. And... I don't know how to do that. I just remember that it's not the normal flower petals and that we needed something else. Okay, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Gems from Meteor should make the shield stronger. Ha ha! Power level. Ooh, let's make it... 2. Actually, if I... Oh, I can take it out, so we may as well just put all three in. Yeah, look, I can do that. Comet entered orbit at negative 873534. That's actually fairly close to us. Negative 873. Yeah, look at that. That's insane. Okay, uh, negative 87. Let's actually go investigate that comet. So where is it? Negative 873534. Negative 87. That's like next to our house. That's like here. 
That's what? Uh. Wow, uh, we built that at the perfect time. If we had not just built that, our house probably would be partially destroyed from a falling meteorite. Wow. I, I'm just surprised, like, that actually worked very well for us building that right then. See, it was worth it. It was worth an episode that'll be dedicated, and it's raining, but it's worth it. Okay, so I guess we're done. Yeah. And we will just go to the farthest part of our compound, which is probably the edge of one of our farms. And we, we don't even need to. I didn't realize it was that much of an extension. But yeah, okay. So let's turn off F3. And let's jump and jump. And we'll just go to the farthest part of our farms. And if I put a torch down here, is it protected? Yes, it is. So we'll go ahead and break that. Okay, so we can knock meteorite protection off the list. We're good. Yeah, well. Awesome. We were so productive today. Okay. So let's go ahead and dump all of this stuff into chest. Because that's the best way of organizing what I have accumulated over the past couple of episodes. Let's put all the magic stuff, I guess that kind of counts as magic stuff, and we will put th this stuff in building materials, yeah, okay, down, and we heat up the stone and the nether brick in there, and we will put the oak wood and all of the other stuff in there, we'll put the redstone in the ores chest, and let's hop upstairs, I guess climb upstairs, but still, organic materials, let's put that feather in there, and we're done. Wow, okay. Let's start working on the bell thorns. Okay, let me pull up my botania. Uh, no, whatever. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way, with the lexicon. Now, we want to go to functional flora and bell thorn. And next page. So we need mystical red petals. Shift right click. Uh... Wait a second. I swear we need something weird. Yeah, red mana, pet red mana petals. How do we make these? So we need to put them in our mana pool, and it'll make mana petals. And I want... Actually, let's quickly go outside. How many of these little tubs do I have? I'm going to put the flowers in here. I have one, two, three, four, five. I need five of them. So I need ten red mana petals. And I actually should have them, because I think originally I was planning on just doing this all from scratch, so let's get... I need 10 of them, so I'm gonna need two more red flowers, but I have plenty. Let's go ahead and make 10 red mana thingies, and we just dump them in the mana pool, I guess? Maybe? Let's see if this works. Dump? Is that how you do it? Do you click? Shift right click? Dump? Dump? Dump, 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 dump. What do you do? How do you use this? I don't know. You can press Q in your inventory to drop, or control click to drop a full stack. I don't understand. Is that supposed to be doing something? Hmm. Why is this not working? Infusing mana petals. Drop flowers in mana pool. Uh, okay guys, I will be right back. Okay guys, I've done some research and I actually think we don't have enough mana in this mana pool. So what we're going to do is instead of crafting bell thorns this episode, we are going to work on some more generating flowers. Okay, so let's go ahead and sleep through the night. So at least our day blooms will be able to do something. But in the meantime, yeah. So yeah, I really do think that's the issue. So let's go ahead and actually go... Because, like, do you see how the mana pool's full? Ours isn't. Didn't mean to share it. Oh, well. Let's just go ahead and go back. So what we want is generating flora. And I think endoflames for the second. Now, day blooms are good. Endoflame does exactly that. It will absorb combustible items and burn them. 
Okay. There's a small, the inner flame will not burn anything that returns a byproduct. An example are lava buckets, and they have empty buckets as a byproduct. Okay. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Ha, we need red mana petals. So basically, we are just going to have to wait as we slowly generate mana. That's kind of a bummer. Let's just make sure that everything is working correctly with our Batania magical wand thing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like accepting mana from items. Diluted mana pool. Can I like... I want... There you go. Daybloom, what do you mean, unknown function? How do I... Uh, I don't understand. Oh, whatever, I'll just right-click on all of them. It, oh, look at that. That one, I think, isn't... That one isn't giving power, I think. Do I not have enough of these mana spreaders? Here, let's actually go inside and grab some more mana spreaders. Okay, Batania, Mana Spreaders. And let's come outside, and let's put more down. So we'll put, like, one here, and we'll put one here. So now, Mana Spreader, Mana Spreader, Diluted Mana Pool. I can't even tell if that's done anything. Okay, well, we'll just leave that there. I mean, there's no point in not doing that. Yeah, but look, it looks like it's, like, collecting mana or something. I don't like that it says unknown status. Oh well, it looks like it's going faster. Okay, so in the meantime, let's actually get started on the Fossils and Archaeology mod, because I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. So, I think one of the first things we need to do is build a dinosaur DNA... something? Let's just go ahead and look at usage. We need to build an analyzer, and in order to build an analyzer, we need fossils, biofossils, and some iron. And that should be upstairs. Okay, let's grab our iron, and let's build a relic, or put a relic scrap, a biofossil, and four iron, and let's make an analyzer. Let's go ahead and put this downstairs. We'll put it right here, and let's right click it. Analyzer, so like what do I do? Do I put a biofossil and it analyzes it? Wow! See, I do know what I'm doing. Okay. What's gonna happen? Bone meal. So I guess what we do is we just dump all of this stuff here. No, let's use the skulls actually, because I don't think those are useful for anything, right? Skulls? A skull lantern, a skull stick, or bone meal. Here, you know what? We'll use two of them. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and put the skulls in. Can it analyze? Oh, I don't think it can analyze those. Whatever, we'll put five biofossils and five relic scraps. That seems reasonable. 